Hi guys! We have some ebooks and e courses you can learn French with, but first, make sure you try our free e course at streetfrench.org. Hey, it's Charlie from streetfrench.org, and today I'm going to be talking about how you can find a job teaching English at a French university. So, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the video about I kind of give you all the information about the job, like what I do at work,、um, how much I get paid, the hours, that sort of stuff. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. So, the position I'm talking about is called a lecteur d'anglais, or if you're a female, you would be a lectrice d'anglais, and it just means like a lecturer, like an English lecturer. And of course, they have this position for Spanish and a few other languages. But of course, I'll be talking about Being an English lecturer because that's what I've been doing for the past two years. So, the time to apply, the best time to apply would probably be February or March, all right? And you're gonna be applying for the, the, the fall semester, fall and spring, okay? So, you really wanna start thinking about this early and you wanna do your research before. And what you're gonna need is a resume or a CV and a cover letter or a, like, a lettre de motivation. And、it's just a letter that explains you know, why you want the job and what your qualifications are and that sort of thing. So, again, there aren't a whole lot of requirements. You just need a bachelor's degree or the equivalent in, I think, pretty much anything. You need to be a, you need to speak the language you're going to teach fluently or have like near native fluency, that sort of thing. And it would be great if you spoke French、uh, a decent amount. That would help you a lot. And really, that's it. Those are the only requirements. And then, so you want your resume and your CV, you want those in French and the language that you're going to teach in. And then, what I would do is I would research cities that you would like to live in. Like,、um, you know, most universities, if they, if they have a language department, if they have an English department, they're probably going to be looking for someone to fill these positions. And they're not going to、um, advertise for them because a lot of times they don't need to. They have. Connections with universities in English speaking countries, and usually that's how they get、um, these positions filled. But sometimes they end up not getting filled, all right? And that's when you would come in. That's when you would contact the school and you would ask them if they're looking for someone to teach that language, all right? And yeah, basically you just contact them and ask them if they're looking for a lecteur d'anglais. Paris is going to be tough. A lot of people want to live in Paris, and it's just Going to be really difficult probably to get a position to come out of nowhere and you know get a, a position teaching English at a French university in Paris. So, look into other cities. I mean, there are tons, and if you're pretty open about where you live, it sh- shouldn't be a problem finding、uh, a university to teach English at. I mean, maybe you might not get it this year, but you can always try the next year or the year after that. And I mean, if you're persistent, I'm sure you would be able to find a school to teach at. So, I'm actually going to show you right now how to do it or how I would go about doing it, okay? So, remember, this is how you're going to find a French university to teach at if you don't have any connections, right? Like, if you're in school right now, definitely talk to your school or the French department or something and see if they have any connections with a French university. That might, I mean, that's how I found my job, my position at the school I'm at right now. But this is what you're going to do if you, you, have, you don't have any connections and you want to teach at a French university, okay? So, look, I'm just gonna go to this school because I've applied here previously. This is actually my, my old school right here. This is where、uh, I, I was studying when I first moved to Paris. All right, yeah, so here we go. This, this right here. So we have an application form. We have the information right here. Oopsies. So, yeah, again, I mean, it's, it's really pretty basic. All I did was Google, you know, this sort of thing, and it just came right up, right?、Um, I mean, look at all these schools that are looking for, for teachers. I know this, you know, the, the deadline has passed, right? This is for last year. But you could just go to the school's website, for example, and just get in contact with their. With their English department and ask them if they're, if they're hiring for next year. So, look, I would just you know, go on the school's site and、um, 
So basically here, let's say we're on this website right here. All we do is just scroll down right here, English, okay. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I would just contact. So basically, yeah, we just go right here, contact us, you know. And so again, I mean, as you can see, this, this website is kind of a mess, but pretty much I would just contact the school, you know, someone in the English department. If I had to contact everybody, <laughs> you know, I would. Just whatever it took, and just to talk to someone, you could call them as well if you if you had to, and you just want to ask them if they're hiring, and uh, I mean that's pretty much it. And again, you want to apply to as many schools as you possibly can, and just be relentless. If if it doesn't work this year, try again next year. And uh, yeah, as long as you're open to where you live, you you should be able to to find a university to teach at. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and I'd love to get back to you. Okay, cool. Merci. Salut.